Hello guys, welcome back to the Beastie Room. Now we're gonna have um we're gonna have a look at a spider that we've we've actually shown in the past and it proved to be quite a popular spider. It's one of my firm favourites. I absolutely love them. Um, that being said, they're not everyone's cup of tea, and that is the Cuprianus Saley or the Tiger Wandering Spider. Now these are insanely fast they really are insanely fast and um as a as an absolute um as a spider to keep they are fascinating they really are super super cool and they're not too difficult to breed in um we have had sacks and we've had a few where we've had sacks that have hatched but we've not had massive sacks. They've always been on the small side, although this spider is capable of producing really large amounts of slings. So um, we had these come in literally yesterday, and um, they were bought from a, a chap on, online, and uh, we bought a bulk load of them. So we bought 60 of them, and um, some of those are going to stay here in the beastie room others we will sell on so we do have some available um and they are just so so cool so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you literally just how we got them now these are just in little tiny um tubs here these are like half the size of a cricket tub at the moment and they are purely in there if i put that like that does that work that way. Oh, that's up, down. Oh my god. That's cool. <laughs> right, we get there in the end, guys. I don't know. So yes, so basically, they're in these little tiny tubs at the moment, and um, these are really just so that we can ascertain, see what we've got, go through them all, and. Um, and make sure that everybody's fine and happy. Now these will be okay in these for another malt. And you'll also see in here, this is the sling pot that they arrived in. So they were all packaged absolutely beautifully, I must add. Um, they were all packaged singly. Now, as you can imagine, these guys are insanely quick. So trying to get them out of that pot and into one of these little tubs is not really going to work. It's really, you know, it's it's just, it's it's a headache waiting to happen. Even, so, for you. even for me, yes, my love, yes, even for me. So I did try it. To be fair, <laughs> I tried one, <laughs> and it done about thirty laps of the desk before I finally caught it again. <laughs> and um, I thought, that's it, no more. We're not doing that anymore. So what we done was we we went the simple way out. And and if any of you guys of have got these or you get some or maybe you buy one of ours you never know we will be at the show we're going to be taunton don't forget taunton show is not this weekend the following weekend we will be there we're going to have a huge range of spiders actually we've got an awful lot of livestock to uh, take along so we've got some really fabulous stuff but we will have some of these there as well now if you do have anything like this, these or huntsmen's, any of them types of spiders, often the easiest way of getting it out of the sling pot, you know, that, it's, that it comes in, is to literally just put the, take the lid off and put the pot inside your enclosure, and let your spider make its own way out. These have all made their own way out, literally within probably minutes. I guarantee, once the lights went out, they would have all started venturing around everywhere. So. Um, that is the easiest way to do it. And then all we have to do, he says, <laughs> that's all we have to do, is actually get the sling pot out of the tub. <laughs> right, which is what we're going to do now. We are going to give this a go. So, now, I warn you now, children, if there's any swearing and cursing going on in a minute when we have spiders running all over the place, put your fingers in your ears. Right. What we're going to do, we are going to open this up. And as you can see, our spider here is sat, you see that? That was sat on the front, it literally flipped to the back. They are so, so fast. So what we're going to do, we are literally going to see how he came to investigate that straight away. 
we might even get a bit of feeding footage of these guys. Right, this, as you can see, this is going to be fun. This might be one of their moments where Dave just says, do you know what, let them keep the vial. <laughs> they can stay there. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get that like that. We're going to open it just enough to be able to get that out, nice and gently, close it with our finger. There you go. That's one. There you go, weren't that bad, was it? I'm sweating. Now, just to let you in a little secret, I've just finished work. I'm really looking forward to my dinner. It's Valentine's Day, and here I am, risking life and limb, not really, but <laughs> I, I, this has got the potential of my whole evening going completely peak tong. It could literally, in a blink of an eye, I could spend the rest of my evening chasing around this room. So um, we are uh, we really are trying fate here. So we're going to we'll get another one here. When you're doing this, try and make sure that you don't make your spider startle. See him there. You don't want to startle your spider because they are so, so quick. All right, I'm going to have another one here. If it's sitting on the front of the tub like this, don't open the door. You know, we want to try and get him to move away. Not that way. All right. He's sat on the vial. He's on the vial, so we're going to just try and move the vial. See if... Whoa, look at that. Did you see that? Look, he, they test... They are so incredible. If they see a little tiny gap, they put their legs in and they test it to see whether they can get out. This is going to be a problem one. I can feel it. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now settle down, settle down. Settle down. Talk to them nicely. Be very gentle and patient. Just be patient. There we go. Oh, What's holding my breath then? You were holding your breath. <laughs> How do you think I feel? <laughs> right then. That's four done. Actually, we only done three because one of them didn't have a vial in there. <laughs> so that's three done. There's only 60, remember. We've got 60 opportunities for it all to go madly wrong. Right, are you gonna? So you're taking you're taking a chance with it on the door, David. Yeah, when. It said not to do that. Right here we go. It's moved. So you gotta be careful because when you move the vial, it moves the moss, and they they feel everything. Now you'll see in there, you see in these um, these enclosures, we've just got a little bit of soil in the bottom and then a piece of moss. And the idea is, is if you remember, with these guys, there isn't enough room in here to be able to put a water bowl of any description. So what we can do is we can literally, with our squirty bottle, with our faithful old squirty bottle, we can open a corner, you see on here, this has got a very, you know, it's a fine edge here. We don't need to open it much, you see. You can see in there now. And you, all you've got to do is literally squirt a little bit of that on the moss. And that is that guy watered. And you've not got no fear of it running off. The same as will come to when we want to feed them as well. We only need to open the corner. And we're going to do that. We're going to have a little look and see if we can't... Um, See if we can't get a couple feeding. That'd be really cool. <laughs> right. Ah. Now this one has actually 
malted in the box. Now this is something that's rather interesting with the true spiders compared to things like our tarantulas is that when they molt out, true spiders harden up really quick. They don't take long at all. Um, literally like an hour or so and they're, they're hard and they're up and running. So their, their whole life compared to a tarantula is in fast forward. Everything is done quickly, including escaping. Ooh. So what we'll do, we're going to get that one there. As you can see, it's in perfect shape. Absolutely lovely. And that has molted out. And it just goes to show, look at this. Have a look in there. We see in there. Now you wouldn't have imagined that that spider could molt out inside that vial successfully, would you? But it has. I mean, it's literally it is molted out. Now, bearing in mind, these guys molt out normally hanging, so they will normally run a thread of uh, web across a branch or something like that. These are arboreal spiders, and. Um, Sometimes in our enclosures, they'll thread it from the roof of the enclosure and they dangle down and then they molt out. And then you'll see them. I think we have actually got a bit of video in a very old film where one molted out actually hanging. And then what it does is it holds on to the old skin until it hardens up and then it runs up and disappears. So it's really, really quite cool. So we'll have a look at this. Look, we'll pull this out. So this is a bit of tissue. This is quite often, this is how we transport our spiders. So we're just going to unroll. I mean, look, that's incredible how it's done that inside that small confined space. And there you go. There's the malt in perfect shape. Look at that. That is absolutely perfect. Completely perfect. Look at that. There's the carapace there. Isn't that just amazing? So what we will do, we will cut a little bit of um, a little bit of tape. So now what we got, as you guys know, we use masking tape for everything, and uh, we put a little bit of masking tape on there, so I know that that one. Is the one that molted out and then we can keep that over here for safekeeping and we'll have a go at sexing that later on you never know it should be big enough for us to be able to tell whether it's a male or a female so we've already established that these guys are arboreal they are strictly arboreal and um, they tend to they live in Central and South America and they're quite often found around um, banana plantations and things like that where they really do like to live on broad-leafed plants Whoa. in you go in you go there you go and this is why you have to be really, really careful. Hopefully you would have got that on film there and you would have seen that literally it tried to make its move. But just with the very tiniest of pressure, we managed to just close it enough to hold it there, but not damage it. You can see it's perfectly fine, perfectly healthy. It's not done any, done him any, any harm at all. And this is where you have to be um, a little bit careful. He knows that hole's there now. So and so, he's, he's going to keep trying, isn't he? No, get in. He's just waiting, and then he's going to make a dash for it. I can feel, feel it. Get in. Look at this. They are such 
Yeah. Almost like they can... Like he knows. Wow! Oh, there he's gone. He's out. Right. See him sitting on top of the tub. I'm gonna, I don't disturb him with my breathing. I think your breathing is the last of his worries, to be fair. <laughs> Right, so we got him in the tub. Now what? <laughs> now what? <laughs> now what? This had to happen, didn't it? You know what I mean? We, we, we had to have this happen. You can see there how that was continuously trying. He knew that we were opening up that corner, and he knew if he was quick enough, he'd get in there. Right, so now we've got to get that, which is almost the same size as this, Back in here. How on earth are we going to do that? Uh -huh. Right, okay. Would you pop him into the hill pot again? The problem is, as you can see, is that we can try it, but we might just lose him altogether. So I'll tell you what we can do. We'll get him back up on the roof. We'll stand our pill pot up like that. Keeping it upright. Now then, what we got now is just literally the weight of the pot. Oh, look at this. Now we're cooking on gas. Right. <laughs> As you can see. So now we've got to get Look at him, he's just poised, waiting. The other problem is, is they lay web all the time. So every time you move something, there he is in there, look. The devil. Isn't he? This has got to be a female, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to square one, and we're going to put... Put our vial back in there. <laughs> here we go again. Right. Oh, no. Ha! We got the lid in there. Thank you. <laughs> See how they... Oh, he, he just... Hey. Right. Now remember, just stay calm. <laughs> Fun and games. I feel like we've been doing this a long time. Right. We do this one and then do some feeding. We'll do some feeding, yeah. Whoa. Right, let's do some feeding, shall we? While we've still got everybody in house. Right, let me get a let me get a tub. I'll we'll get a few crickets. We'll give it a go. Oh dear. Um, all right then. They are absolutely wonderful, aren't they? All right. Is that a good view? As that mm. is. Yeah, I, mm, just or do you want to come around here and look at these ones? And then I've not got the reflection of the devil's pot. <laughs> Alright, so what would... He moved, moved to the... Ooh. 
They are such clever little things. Right. So let's let's give this a try. Can't even catch a cricket. Well, I hope I've got to catch him one of these. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it up. We're just going to pop our cricket in. Let's see if he goes for the movement. Now, bearing in mind, these have only been in these pots for like 24 hours, so they're probably still settling down a little bit. Let's try another one. Give, uh, I'll put it mm -hmm. side by side. Let's catch another cricket. This is where all of our crickets are just going to refuse to move. Let's try another one. <laughs> <laughs> we will get one feeding in a minute. And this is the simplest way of feeding them. So when they're in these little tubs like this, it's nice and easy. Are oh, they going to go for it? Now, as we were saying, these guys come from Central and South America. They do like it warm. So in here, we're at 80 degrees in here. And uh, these guys really will enjoy the, the heat. They are a strictly arboreal spider. So when you're housing them, these are just temporary accommodation for these at the moment until we work out what we're going to keep and what we're going to move. And then... With the ones that we're going to grow on, they will go into slightly bigger things than this. Uh, not too much bigger, to be fair. They don't need to be massive. But eventually, they will then go to 20 by 20 by 30 um, exos or, or that type of style of enclosure. And um, we had great success with the Komodo of that size with just the, the um, top opening ones. Um, they worked really, really well. Put a couple of plants in there. They 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 love it. They do really really well. Now we got um, a little bit of movement. These guys are very very active hunters, generally. So they'll hunt by sight. Now the venom on them. There's much talk about the venom of these. Now they do have a strong venom, but it's not classed as um, medically significant to us, this particular one. Um, you still probably wouldn't want to get a bite from one, but they're not, they're not aggressive in that way. So they're not really going to give us too much trouble in that respect. But the venom that they do produce is very, very strong towards other insects. It's very, very potent towards other insects. Can try one more? We're going to try another one. So we're going to see, one of them's got to feed, I'm sure. We're saying about how potent they are, and uh, none of them want to use it. He won't bother at all. He won't, was he? It might just be a little bit too early for them. Don't, don't forget also that um, these guys are pretty nocturnal. So um, their main time for being out and about. Whoa, that one got it. Did you? I'm going to put him around the front. He got it. Hopefully you can see him there. You see how quickly they subdue that cricket. Very, very quick. I can't believe we got these four in the back. And Whoa, that one's grabbed it as well. Look at that. That literally leapt off the front and grabbed his cricket. This is what they need. A little bit of, little bit of 
peace and quiet just to settle down. Fabulous things to watch hunting. They really are. They're a very physical hunter. All right, let's try another one. I must admit, I wish they were as slow as camera lady because there'd be no trouble at all sorting them out. <laughs> all right, here we go. You ready? Yeah. See if that one does anything. It'll be one of these back ones that jump into action, isn't it? Oh, there she goes, on the move, on the move. That one's just grabbed one. Now if that cricket moves, she's literally looking at it. We've just got to wait for the cricket to move. So as we say, they, they do like it really, really warm. They like it quite humid as well. So these come from a very tropical um, climate. So we're looking at a good humidity, nice and warm. Here goes that cricket. Look, it's on the move. Oh, she was, she's thinking about it. She wasn't 100% sure then. As you can see there, these crickets are actually quite big for these spiders. But they're taking them with no trouble whatsoever. That one's just grabbed it. <laughs> so they're all feeding, which is really, really good. And as you can see from their abdomens, when we look at them in their case, you can see they're, they're absolutely in beautiful condition. Very, very pretty spiders. Make the cricket move. I can't make the cricket move. What I'll do is I'll get another one. We'll just keep we'll just keep throwing crickets in, shall we, until we we get something that works. This one's active. You see how the quick is in there, not daft. This one in the middle is on the move now. Oh, yeah, yeah, look, look, she's, she's starting to move a little bit there now. You can see how they almost like they're under tension ready to spring into action just like me right now yeah <laughs> yeah this is the thing when you're filming you always know that as soon as you look away or you go to another one you miss it this one on the end here is on the move as well. This one in there, just in case. Did you manage to catch any of them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not worthwhile, no. That didn't sound very convincing, did it? No. Right. Not going to win any medals today. No, no. You watch, they'll all start jumping on them now. <laughs> so, so this is basically how we look after them in this temporary situation. And you can do this with any of your huntsmen's, any kind of spider that's like that, that's very, very quick. Just remember, if you keep them in something small like this to, at this stage, when they're this sort of size, you do need to be a little bit careful of, of how you deal with them because, as you've seen, they're very, very quick. And they actually test. As soon as they see that gap, they test it straight away. So, uh, And you've seen just how fast they move. They come out in like lightning. 
very, very quick. Now, um, now that being said, these aren't particularly difficult spiders to take care of. They're quite easy to look after. It is just their speed that catches people out. There's nothing to be afraid of them with. They're, um, they're not bad in that respect. He's like, he's clambering around the back, isn't he? He might just go down there. Now, as you see these as actually uh, full-blown adults, if you check out some of our older videos, we've done a couple of, um, I think we've done a pairing one of these guys, and uh, we've done some where we've rehoused them, where we've rehoused adult females. And, uh, and you can see there just how you can actually work them. Yay! Um, did you catch it? Yeah. <laughs> Fabulous. It wasn't a particularly violent takedown or anything, but... No, we don't like violence in the no. speed in the in the beastie room, so that's good. I'm glad you got to see one. At long last, sometimes the perseverance pays off, and we manage to catch it. These are going to be an awful lot of fun going forward. Now then, one other thing, um, we mentioned the the uh, show at Taunton, which is in two weeks' time. Um, so that's not this weekend coming. It's the following weekend on the Sunday. Uh, that is the first one, first real sort of invert show of the year, apart from Seas. We had Seas a couple of weeks ago, um, but this is the, the first one of the Invector, I think, yeah, the whole Invector shows. So um, we're really looking forward to that. Should be a really good turnout. There's going to be lots and lots of stuff going on. So do come over and see us if you go. Come and say hello to us. We do love to meet you all. And um, we'll have all of our regular merch, spiders, everything will be on sale. We've actually um, got an extra table this time as well. So this year we're going to have four tables. So we're going to have a lot more livestock and bits and pieces to offer out. Um, and on talk, talking of the shows, there is a new show coming up in Bournemouth in June. As you know, Bournemouth is our local area, and um, we don't have any shows this far south. There is no shows this far south. So there is a brand new show in June in Bournemouth, and we will be there, as will many of the uh, other local um, spider companies. Portsmouth Tarantulas will be there. Um, a number of different ones that you see on Facebook uh, we now know there's a few of the taxidermists are going to be there as well. There's all sorts of stuff going on, so it's going to be a fabulous day. So please do go along and have a look at that. It's plastered all over Facebook. You can't miss it. Um, there's regular um, things going on telling you all about different events and bits and pieces that will happen on the day. So it's not going to be just like your regular show. There's going to be all sorts of bits and pieces going on. So it should be a really, really cool show, and it needs all of our support. So um, being a brand new show, no one knows what to expect. So the more we can get in, the happier and the better the whole show will be. So that'd be a really, really cool thing. I will remind you all as the months go along, um, and I'm really looking forward to it. should be fabulous. Right then, well I hope you enjoyed our Cupriana Saley and a little look into what we do sometimes when we get different spiders coming in. Um, and I thought these would be an interesting one just because of how tricky they are, how fast and how clever they are. You see them, oh they work you out. So we've done two, four, six, eight, nine or oh, ten. We've done ten now and I feel like it's taken about an hour. So We've got another 50 of them to try and get these pots out. Um, I might do that tomorrow. We'll have dinner now. Yes, we're going to go and have dinner. It's Valentine's Day today, so I hope you all got um, you all looked after your ladies in your life. And um, yes, I think that's it. Now don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spiders. And I'll see you soon, guys. <laughs>